1424 once again with NASCAR 08! And in this episode of our season with Dave Rudman's Double Zero Domino's Toyota Camry, we are going to be completing race 34 of 36, which is going to take place at Texas Motor Speedway for the Dickies 500. In the last episode, we raced at Atlanta Motor Speedway, where we almost won, racing David Gilland and Matt Kenseth on the final lap, but I just couldn't get underneath David Gilland going into the final corner. And, well, we actually kind of shoved David Gilland past Matt Kenseth, so Matt Kenseth is probably disappointed about that. But, I mean, we would have not been able to win that race entirely if there hadn't been a caution with, like, I think 10 laps to go, maybe. It wasn't even 10 laps to go. I think it was, like, 6 laps to go. But it happened because of Brian Vickers dropping debris. We didn't see any debris, and his car was not damaged whatsoever. So, yeah, there you go. NASCAR is throwing cautions just to make it interesting again. But uh, Texas is my home track, and last time we went there, I just recall almost dumping Bobby Labonte. I think I dumped John Wood and Jeff Gordon in that race. So this time, let's just try to not make contact with a single driver in this race, aside from maybe like bump draft. But yeah, I don't think that's possible, but I guess it's worth trying, even though I'm practically trying to do that in every episode, huh? The track record at Atlanta Motor Speedway was in the 28s, and we never made it into the 28s on our lap times. It was like 29s for us. And the track record here is in 27.5. And you're supposed to get like the same lap times at this track as you do at Atlanta because it's like the same length and everything, I guess. I mean, if anything, Atlanta is a faster track than this one. So I, I just don't understand anymore. Whatever. Robbie Gordon's going to be starting on the pole next to Tony Stewart. John Wood, third. Jeff Green, fourth. Kurt Busch is going to start in fifth. Sterling Marlin, sixth. Paul Menard, seventh. Ryan Newman, eighth. David Gillen, ninth. And our teammate Dale Jarrett's going to start in tenth. So, can Dale Jarrett get another good finish out of this one? Uh, if we're lucky. Well, what about um, Michael Waltrip? Michael Waltrip is starting in 29th. He's on the inside. Maybe he can just keep moving forward from there. I don't know. Also, there's Ricky Rudd. Disgusting. Nasty. Snakers. I don't know. I still haven't eaten a freaking Snakers since that happened. Green flag is out. We're underway for 26 laps at Texas Motor Speedway. My tires were being all goofy. Whatever. The green flag. Ugh. Let's just prepare ourselves to not make contact with a single car in this race. Yeah, you're all in before I make contact. Before I can even finish one freaking lap, huh? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Oh my god, what the hell just happened? Someone slammed the brakes going down the back straightaway. And now they're all shooting back past me. This is scary. The last driver I want to see shooting back past me is Dave Reagan. I think I've had enough of him shooting me, period. He shot me, a period. At Auto Club in the night race. That didn't feel very good. Oh my goodness. Just uh, trying, trying to remain calm. Trying to not make contact with anybody. And then I hit Jeff Burton because there's no room down here. They let off a bunch so I can hold the bottom. He came down on me. You guys are impossible. Y'all are just impossible. It doesn't matter how clean I race you. You race me as trashy as possible to just make me into the bad driver I don't want to be. Also, I'm making it three wide to the point where I, I can't not get tight in the front stretch. My car is tight in the corners, it's tight in the front stretch, and even whenever I'm letting off the gas enough to not drive up into somebody, then they finally just decide to drive down on me. Ah, uh, I work so hard, and I get nothing accomplished this game. Why are you not turning? Oh my goodness, car. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm not accomplishing anything, though. I had to take my jacket off, or not my jacket, but my hoodie off that I was wearing in the last video because it's getting hot in here after that intensity. My car just pulled up right in front of Juan Pablo Montoya. It won't stop being tight because it's just um, the way this car is. It's tight, and not the good kind of tight. Kind of like a virginity-like type of tightness. I don't know. Uh, there's Dale Jarrett up there on the outside. He has lost so much ground since the start of this race somehow. That's depressing. But at the same time, it's nothing new. Okay, I've gotten underneath Case Kane somehow, so i got to hold the inside. 
I think my medallion task for this race is to win, and I didn't win last time. I would like to win this time because that would um that would feed you know, my desires. Get all our drivers and our team back here in the middle of the field. I mean, it's nice to be around all at the same time. Just looking at this, it just sucks. Okay, let's get this pass on Dale Jarrett done. Like Waltrip's going really slow. Get a run on him off of turn two. He's not letting me underneath him in that little space. Okay. So we made the top half of the field and everything. Jeff Green's in the lead. Uh, uh, golly, Mackenzie. No room down there. They just want me to wreck them so bad. Why? Why do they want me to wreck them? Why do they want to not give me enough room so that I'm forced to wreck them? Why can't they just do good things? Good things are good. Uh, uh, Nick out gaming. That was an hanging. Not good. Outside. Yeah, no feeling. Snitch that pass, and now he's still on the outside because Matt Kids is underneath him. In this pain and misery. I was turning to the left the entire time right there, but my car can't turn in the front stretch, so it's just got to go crashing into AJ Almendinger. Yeah. I kind of knew that was coming, but I did everything I possibly could to stop it. Just, there's nothing you can do. You can turn all you want, but nope, you're going to hit that car on the outside of the front stretch. Oh. The, the, um, the pubescent size of depression. About to make the top ten once we pass Bobby Labonte. Hi, Kurt Busch. How are you, Kurt Busch? He didn't say anything in response. I don't know. I'm just trying to create commentary because I have nothing to talk about whenever it comes to a game this freaking simple. I mean, it's simple at the same time. It's very frustrating whenever I'm working so hard to not make contact with somebody. It's just, can't stop it from happening. Charlie Marlon's letting me underneath them. Okay, we're going to pass freaking three cars in one corner. I mean, I think that was three cars. Sterling, Marlon, Robbie Gordon, and I think we just passed Bobby Bondi in that same corner. Okay, it's not turning! Okay, get to the inside. Tony Stewart's blocking me from all the way over there. Like the new on EA Sports Park. John Wood is in the lead. Now I want to die for John Wood. Always pissing me off. It's not funny. John Wood, you make me want to die. Ugh! So, um, it's exaggeration at this point, isn't it? I wish it wasn't, but it is, sadly. Tony Stewart won't pass Paul Menard, so I can't pass him because he's holding the inside line, therefore we're not going to get anywhere. Oh my goodness, we got some really worn tires now, don't we? Tony Stewart, go forward before I just get underneath you and probably wreck you at the same time. I can't get underneath him unless I force my way under there. He's not trying to pass Paul Menard. This is just ridiculous. Okay, I think I can get underneath Paul Menard before turn one. At least I thought I could, but not, not no. Not anymore. Almost making it three wide with Jeff Green, David Gilland, and Mark Martin. John Wood is pulling away with the lead. That's nasty. That's nasty. Stop. Looks like we're going to be in the top five before pit stops even begin. That's something that didn't happen in the last race. Maybe it could have, but it didn't. Uh, I've just got to focus on not speeding the pit road. I don't think it's going to be that difficult to avoid making contact with these AI because they're all right there in front of me and they're going to be going really fast in. If anything, I just hope that they give me enough room to not dump me like Dave Regan did at freaking Kansas or whatever it was last week. I'm going to pit whenever these guys do. I would like to, you know, enter the corner and, and turn whenever these guys do as well, but uh, no, my, my car's worn tires don't promote that. Kind of pushing Jeff Green right now, trying to drop John Wood back as many positions as possible while also helping myself. So we're pushing Jeff Green into the lead, and we're going to take second place, trying to finish the corner. Ugh! Okay, we didn't force David Gilliland up into the outside wall. We didn't make contact with him. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the tower is getting legit now, isn't it? Okay, Jeff Green, are you going down pit road? Nope. 
Still not going down the road. Well, I, I'm going to stay with you. Maybe I can have the lead going down the road. Uh, maybe we might be the last guys to uh, take pit stops here. Okay, I'm going to be able to finish the pass coming out for turn two right here in a bit. I'm getting on the apron because I'm trying not to oversteer, but it's just not something I can help. We're underneath him. He's about to take his pit stop. It's not good. This is, uh, this is not good. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I can tell he's about to pit. Okay, here we go. Slow down. Slow down. That was a perfect pit road entry. Oh my goodness, like, oh, oh, well, now I'm down pit road. Should I, um, I don't know, maybe I should have aborted because I hadn't taken my pit stop yet. I don't know if it's during your pit stop it counts or if it's, I mean, I'll, they already had control of my car. I was already officially on pit road and then that caution came out. It's bittersweet that I had a great pit road, pit road entry in a bit, isn't it? Just wait, we're going to get back on the track, we're going to go green again. And we're going to be in dead last freaking place because we took a pit stop. And all those other guys took pit stops, didn't they? They were all right there behind us. They went to take pit stops. Jeff Green took a pit stop. Hmm. Because they were exiting the pit stall, so I guess we're not going to be sent to the tail of the field. I don't think we should be. David Strimmy, what'd you do? David Strimmy. What did he do? Oh, God! The, the Coors Light smashed the Budweiser. That's kinky. <laughs> oh my goodness. I had to ask my mom about that one. Coors Light plus Budweiser. What do you get? You, you get Earnhardt Strimmy. Dale Strimmy. That's what that was. Okay, so we don't get sent to the tail of the field this time. We get put in the lead. And now I've got to lead the next 10 laps. Either that or John Wood can pass me at the restart, which is bullshit in my opinion. Uh... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have a problem leading the next 10 laps. Well. Did I lead that lap um, whenever we entered pit road? Weren't we like the last car spinning? I want to assume so because we were out for a really long time. I guess I'll go ahead and see you guys at the checkered flag. I guess we deserve to actually win this race. Yeah, what he said. That was very inside climactic. My, my car is not going the direction I'm telling it to go. I don't get that. No, I kept turning to the left and it kept turning to the right. That's, I don't understand, man. I just don't. Okay. Let's do some donuts. Donuts! Dominoes! We dominated the race in the Domino's car. And now we're doing Domino! David Ruman is an Olympic gold medalist with that Texas Motor Speedway medallion for finishing in first place. Olympic gold medalist. Ugh. I don't know. Let's take a look at the race results. Kevin Harvick started in 11th place, finished in second. We led 11 laps in this race. Total, complete freaking domination. We had six lead changes. Those only happened whenever I wasn't around. Tony Stewart started second, finished in third. Ricky Rudd started 32nd, finished in fourth. Sterling Marlin started sixth, finished in fifth. Denny Hamlin started 27th, finished in sixth. John Wood started third, finished in seventh. He led six laps in this race. That's nasty. Uh, I guess this is Kurt Busch right here. Maybe it's Kyle Busch. I have no freaking idea, but he started 17th, finished in eighth. Tony Rain started 16th, finished in ninth. And Mike Wallace start 18th and finished in 10th. So, you can look through the rest of the race results. Dale Jarrett started 10th, finished in 14th. Not bad. Where's Michael Waltrip? Yeah, you, you guys can look through the rest of this stuff. Michael Waltrip started 29th and finished in 29th. Uh, darn. Also, in the background, we've got David Strimmey um, crashing into Dale Earnhardt Jr. So... That's everywhere. It's, it's gone viral. Robbie Gordon started on pole and finished in 36 somehow. I guess that has something to do with the caution. That's my only guess. David Gillen, who won the previous race, started ninth and finished in 38. He led one lap in this race. Oh my goodness, that caution did some shit. Jimmy Johnson started 19th, finished in 43rd. He only ran nine laps in this race, so we got a DNF.
Matt Kenseth was 93 points behind us going into the race at Texas, and now he is 158 points behind us. What did he do? What did I do? What what are these points? How did he, did he finish that badly? Did I not even notice? But yeah, he's still in second. I'm guessing that's where he's going to be finishing in this one. Mike Waltrip moved into fourth. This is just fantastic. Robbie Gordon is in third. Tony Stewart, fifth. Mark Martin, sixth. John Wood is in seventh. I hate you, John Wood. And Ken Traders, eighth. Kyle Busch, ninth. Jeff Green, tenth. Jimmy Johnson, eleventh. And Ryan Newman is in twelfth. We have just a, a ginormous gap between Jimmy Johnson and Ryan Newman right now. I mean, practically anybody that's in front of Ryan Newman but how did that even happen? Dale Jarrett is in front of Dale Earnhardt Jr. Whoa. Tomorrow afternoon, we are going to Phoenix International Raceway for race 35 of 36, which is the Checker Auto Parts 500 presented by... What kind of race name is that? This game is, uh, this game is funny. That's, that's interesting. Well, in the last uh, Phoenix race, we won just beating out Paul Menard with, I think, like a lap or two to go. And this is going to be the day race, the one that I am looking forward to the most whenever I do these seasons, just because I like racing at Phoenix at daytime a little more than nighttime, because I get to see more of the track as it was in the past. But anyhow, see you next time. That's that, and episode over.